Oh, it's finally, finally spring. Well, actually, it's not spring yet. It's getting there. It's getting very close. It means warm weather, finally. We're gonna come out of hibernation, which is what it feels like I've been in for the last three months. Uh, getting over cold. But uh, hey, how's it going, everybody? I wanted to show you a new member of my family. And ta-da! Here is my 2006, yeah, 2006 Chevy Colorado. Here it is. Dun, 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 dun. I've had this for about, I don't know, about, about a month. But it's been winter here still, and this is a rear-wheel drive, not four-wheel drive, truck. So it doesn't do very well when it's slick outside. And I still have my Ford, so I still have a four-wheel drive truck. So that was the only reason I got this in the first place, because I would, I would never give up my four-wheel drive for a truck that's not four-wheel drive. It just doesn't make any sense where I live, even though you only use a four-wheel drive two months out of the year maybe a couple times in a three month span but you also gotta remember there's also a lot of mud our my little back parking lot area is at, well right now it's a lot better than it was it was one big mud pit a couple weeks ago and this thing got stuck a couple times um, right there was one of the spots it got stuck just trying to get into my parking spot and they come up around, I have to come up around this way, and then all this was ice and snow, oh, whatever. So luckily, I have four-wheel drive. So I went ahead and got this. And since that's paid off now, I can afford a second truck. So this is my around town, to and from work, little, little toy truck that's not four-wheel drive, so it gets better gas mileage than that thing does. This is the 2.8 four-cylinder. It's a nice little truck. Got lots of projects. That's why. That's pretty much why I'm, I'm filming this now because I'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff to this truck. It's gonna look a lot different here in a couple weeks. I'm getting new tires, and well, it's not gonna look a lot different. I'm just gonna really. I'm gonna customize this truck. I'm really gonna mess around with it, play with it. Yeah, I figured I'd let, let you guys know. I mean, I, I haven't uploaded anything in quite some time because it's been cold and I've been sick. I'm. <laughs> I'm still kind of sick actually, but I'm feeling a lot better. Like I'm, I'm, I think it's the weather. The weather is making me feel a lot better. But I got some things I want to do to the truck while it's nice outside, um, which it's actually going to be nice outside. I think we've turned the corner. We've turned that springtime corner. But one of the things I need to do today is when I bought this truck, it had two new tires on it, but they're on the front. Of course, that makes no sense to me. Why? On a real drive vehicle, you put the new tires on the front. That could be some of my issues with having issues in mud. Because, I mean, the back tires on it right now, I mean, they're not, they're not bad, but they're not good. But yeah, it's, there's, there's still like um, some bald spots. But when you compare them to the new ones, I mean, look how much more tread there's on. So I don't understand why anybody would put the new tires on a rear-wheel drive vehicle on the front. It's not really helping me out. So that's something I'm going to do today. I'm going to rotate the tires. But another thing I'm going to do today, as I said before, I've got this thing about, yeah, about a month ago. And in the first week of me driving it, I guess something happens in a lot of these, the, the Colorados and the canyons. It's a very common issue. So what happens is you go to turn your air on, and you got, I got four settings. One, two, three, four. But, but it only works on high. And so that happened in like the first week of me owning this truck. So I was like, great. Well, then I did some research and I looked it up. Apparently, it's a very common problem with these, with the Colorados and the canyons. Very easy to fix from what they, from all the videos I've seen. It's an easy fix. And I've got the part right here. It's a blower motor resistor switch. 
this little thing right here. So apparently, if I all, and all it is is two little bolts that bolted in on the bottom of the blower motor, which is right there underneath the glove box. And all I got to do is undo two bolts, pull it out, unplug it, plug the new one in, put it back in, and two bolts, and hopefully it worked. And another thing is the previous owner of this truck was a smoker, and uh, I'm a smoker. If you can't tell by my glorious cold slash smoking voice, I've my trucks have never smelt like a, you can get in and be like, oh man, you're a smoker, aren't you? Like my Ford, I smoke in that thing all the time, but it does not smell like this. People must, if you're gonna smoke in your vehicles, crack a window. But oh my god, this because this truck kind of smells. But luckily, I have the hardwood floor, the, the vinyl flooring. So that part's not too bad. It's the seats and this. All this needs to be shampooed. So that's another thing I'm doing today. So on my checklist of stuff to do today, it's repair the blower motor, um, rotate the tires, and give the inside a bath, which everything that I'm gonna do today, I've been wanting to do for three weeks. And now that it's finally spring, it's time to get that stuff done. First project I want to take care of today is the blower motor. That's the one thing I want to get fixed because it sucks when I got to drive around on high. Let's go attack that first. Okay, so now we're we're in the truck and oh yeah, I forgot to mention it's five speed. You don't see those very often. That's the uh, the modern day anti theft device. <laughs> Just to show the issue of um uh, the blower motor only working on high. So now we're on. So now see if I go to one, nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh. So as you can tell, the blower motor works. It's just it only works on high. So that's what we're doing today. So now hopefully after I pop this thing in down there, it'll work let's see if it really is as easy as they say yep, yep there it is right there that, that, that's the piece right there that I'm, I'm gonna be unbolting these two bolts right there and right there pulling that out and then pop the new one in so i'm gonna go grab my socket set and take care of that real quick all right so that was actually easy enough it was a 7 30 second size socket to get those two bolts out so then we just pull this thing out. There it is. Now all we gotta do is unhook that, hook the new one in, pop it back in, see if it works. All right, so I just got the old one out. Here's the old one. And um, I noticed, boom, right there. There's your problem. It's all shorted out in there. And apparently that's, that's the design flaw. So for now, when I put the new one in, I put some dielectric grease down on the prongs. Maybe that'll help out a little bit. We'll find out. So, okay. I'm gonna pop it back in and we're gonna see if it works. It's all installed. Time for the moment of truth. Let's see if I have four speeds. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> success so if you're having the same problems uh, there's a problem it's the blower resistor switch just look for that and you'll find it i've got mine on ebay for eight dollars free shipping and um we'll see if that lasts um the one that the old one that was in the system it, i don't know if that was original so someone might have already replaced it so we'll, we'll see if it only lasts a couple weeks or maybe even a couple months then i'll go ahead and order the whole pigtail connection, that's the problem, is the connector keeps blowing it. But I've also heard stories of people replacing it, and it's still happening. So who knows? It might just be one of those things I got to do every couple months or something like that. Replace the switch. So, oh well. It's better than not having four speeds. I'll tell you that. Uh, okay, taking a mid-afternoon break mid-afternoon update got it jacked up 
So I'm about to swap the tires, rotate them. Got the inside cleaned. Um, got the, the roof all scrubbed down, all the seats scrubbed down. <sighs> that wore me out, especially all scrubbing the roof. I think that's where all the smell was coming from because that roof was like, it, it became a shade lighter. It smells a lot better in here so far. But really scrubbing down that roof and then scrubbing down the seats. And it made a big difference, so I'm pretty excited. I finally got the inside cleaned, like really cleaned. I'm gonna rotate all the tires, and uh, we'll go from there. Thought I'd give you a little update. All right, back to it. Dun dun dun. All done. Took long enough, but we finally got it done. Took it for a little spin. Drives fine. So, uh, thanks for hanging out with me today. Hopefully, you uh, look forward to some of the projects I'm going to do on this thing. And just welcoming this truck to the family. Uh, I know the next big thing I want to do, not really big, but it's going to get into some new tires, all four tires. As I'm, as I'm doing this, the next bigger project I want to do is I want to paint the rims after I get new tires because I don't want to mess the paint up. So, because I like edge control with my truck, which I'm going to redo those rims pretty soon too. Take off that clear coat or that peel coat that's on it now and redo them plus i want to see how easily that peel coat comes off so that that'll be another video coming out pretty soon i have a nylon brush that i'm going to use to get all that stuff off and redo them but i'm gonna do the same thing on these i'm gonna do them black but as i'm switching them i think i'm gonna do uh, an accent color i'd like your opinions if you want, would like to share if this truck would look good with neon green highlights, like little little pieces neon green, like the mirrors, like the PMI doing the mirrors neon green, and this the bar back here. It needs to be. Um, it has some rust, so I'm gonna sand all the rust off of it, and then paint this the accent color. Either whatever I do. What I want to do is <clears throat> do the whole thing black, like a flat black, but then with my airbrush, just these little pits right here these little spots paint those green as well as the emblem the chevy emblem which this whole thing comes off so i can tape all this off and just paint the chevy emblem so i think that look cool like all black with some neon green or orange highlights tell me what you guys think of that well i guess that probably do it for now i got some stuff i gotta do i wasn't gonna wash the car i was gonna wash and wax the truck but it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so... Oh, another thing, if you're following um, a lot of lawn care stuff that I do, right now is the time to put down pre-emergent. That's what I'm, that's what I gotta go do right now. Since it's gonna rain tomorrow, I gotta make sure I get this stuff down now. I use Hummert's Dyna Green Crabgrass Preventer Plus Dimension. So it's a fertilizer and a pre-emergent so it it kills weeds before they even start <sighs> so much stuff to do so it's getting warm stuff time to do stuff time to get out of the house and get over these colds <clears throat> thanks for hanging out with me today stay tuned for other fun stuff not just a lot of random stuff enjoying spring mushroom seasons coming up for you guys that hunt morel mushrooms soon very soon so a lot of stuff to look forward to so I will holler at you guys later and uh, see ya.